Hello and thank you for attending another Ekahol how to short video by Advanced Network Devices. This is Mike Kazemian, the product manager for Ekahol Solutions in Advanced Network Devices. With the introduction of the Ekahol Connect, uh, especially with using the iPhone or iPad for surveys, uh, when using autopilot uh, and artificial intelligence, if the floor plan is cropped or rotated, sometimes the survey points go beyond the cropped area and the rotated area and it is very difficult to explain why the survey path is beyond the floor plan boundaries uh, it is essential sometimes to remove those areas and redo the surveys there are various ways that we can edit an existing surveys data point either we can delete the entire survey or we can modify the existing survey path data points. In order to uh, remove the entire uh, survey that we have conducted, we simply go to the uh, satellite pane, select the survey that we want, for example, this survey, which is in reference to uh, the short survey that we have conducted here. And we simply right click and we delete that survey. Now, if we do this, we can not bring back the survey data points anymore. So I will delete this and you can see the entire data points and the entire survey is removed. However, if we want to change an existing data point, like such as this point or uh, any other point, let's say this point, it, we need to uh, modify the content. We can do that simply by selecting that data point and um, either moving it or removing it from the survey results. In order to have better access to these data points, uh, it is highly recommended to remove any existing information or access information uh, that will uh, interfere with us viewing the data points. Uh, in this example, I will remove all the access points in the view mode. And now we have clear and visible access to the uh, survey data. Now we simply zoom in and we select a specific data point. In this instance, I will select this data point and we can see we can either delete or move. So I delete first and you can see the data point now has been completely removed. If you do not want to uh, remove this data point, you can simply re return it back by selecting Ctrl Z and you can see it is back. Now if we want to move, we select move survey point and it will change from the circle to a rectangle um, to a square and now we can move that data point and we, you will see that the heat map below it is going to change. So we can again select move and we bring it back. Or we can simply do Control Z to return it back into the previous point. This concludes our short how-to video for changing and removing survey results from an existing survey. Thank you for watching and we look forward to have you in our uh, upcoming short how-to videos.